Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your Spirit Guided Energy Focus Reading. Uh, I'm going to be pulling three energies. We're going to be looking at health and wellness, which is uh, mind, body, and spirit. We're going to look at career and money, and we're going to look at love, because I did not do love last week, because we did a reset instead. God guides angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. I thank you so much for our friends born under the sign of Gemini. Show us clearly. What energies will Gemini be navigating as it relates to health and wellness, as it relates to career and money, and as it re relates to romantic love? We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. We thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Okay, guys, ready? With uh, health and wellness, we have patience and planning. With career and money, we have solitude. And with... A romantic love we have shadow okay so we're gonna pull an overall theme message and then we'll get the clarifiers for these God guides angels archangels Holy Spirit I thank you for our friends born into the sign of Gemini show us clearly what is the overall theme for this reading we thank you for clear and concise messages we thank you for love light and prosperity and we thank you for clarification confirmation and validation show us clearly what is the overall theme for this reading for Gemini okay and we're getting home this is an awesome card to get because it talks about feeling uh, at home no matter where you are the number is 27 the 2 is the number of the divine feminine uh, that's not gender it's nothing about gender but it's about the creativity and the the resilience and the uh, the um, inspiration that kind of energy within you and then the other number is 7 which is for me the number of divinity and you add them together you get a nine and I feel like they are graduating you from a cycle in your life uh, bringing you into something else it says you are comfortable in your own skin and you do belong so peace serenity safety belonging and all the features one would want from home are indicated right now the home card represents an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin. It's like to live comfortably no matter what's happening in the world around you. It's a time for opening your eyes to your tribe of like-minded people or one special person who makes you feel like you've come home. Home is love and love is all around you now. Whatever your inquiry you're where you're meant to be and will reap great benefits by staying the path regardless of where it leads home will always be with you it is where the heart is okay especially in a time right now where we're kind of all in an upheaval with all the social distancing and all that other stuff one of the things that said is no matter where you are right spirits want you to be comfortable in your skin no matter what's going on in the world around you they want you to have that feeling of home okay we're going to get clarifiers for from the arcanum tarot uh, we're looking at patience and planning in health and wellness. We're looking at solitude in work and money. And we're looking at shadow in uh, romantic love. God guides angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. Show us clearly why are these energies on the table? What are you wanting Gemini to know as we navigate the energies over the coming weeks? We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Show us clearly what are the clarifying messages with these energies as it relates to Gemini. Okay, so one of the things that I'm noticing while I am shuffling is that uh, this equals nine. And again, I, I talked about graduating a cycle. Spirit's wanting you to be comfortable in your skin no matter what's going on in the world around you. Guys, a lot of you are being uh, home right now when you want to be working, right? Um, things have changed or your partner's home and and they're not working. There's, there's different things going on right now. This also is a nine. And they're wanting to graduate you from the cycle of... Um, of worry as it relates to that stuff is what I'm feeling then in the relationship you have 18 uh, this is 8 plus 1 equals 9 another graduating both major arcanas um, 
pretty powerful reading. So it starts with health and wellness, and we have patience and planning. And clarifying that, we have two of pentacles, and we have eight of cups. And clarifying the solitude in work and money, we have the empress, and we have the king of cups. And then clarifying the romantic relationship with shadow, we have the eight of pentacles, and we have the nine of cups. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, so let's look at health, uh, health, health and wellness. We have patience and planning, right? Uh, and, and this card would be, if you looked at it in the tarot, this is John Holland's Psychic Tarot, which is an oracle deck. So if you look at this card in the tarot, it would be the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is about planting things, right? Uh, and then getting a return on your investment, that when it, we reap what we sow, those types of things. So it's asking you to remember that in your, in your mind, body, and spirit person, mostly in your physical self. We're home right now. We really have to be careful about what we're putting in our mouth and how often we're putting it in our mouth. We have to be careful about not sitting around on the sofa watching Netflix. We need to find projects around the house and stuff like that. We need to move our bodies, basically, and be careful about our physical bodies. Uh, it's got balance here. It's being clarified with the balance card. And the balance card is saying that uh, that there's obviously balance to be found in what we're doing uh, probably the first week or two weeks that you were home, it was like, yeah, let's just take a break. Let's take a rest, do whatever, lay around, watch Netflix, maybe eat a little bit too much and stuff like that. And now you're saying, oh, wow, you know, this is going on way longer than I thought. And I can't keep living like this. So, so it's like spirits calling you to bring your physical self back into balance. Uh, even in this situation, even though things are kind of in an upheaval and even though you might be at home, uh, you're feeling out of sorts with what's going on in the world. So the Eight of Cups asks us to leave behind those things that don't serve us, right? It's like you're leaving behind all the, the, uh, the, the ways that it's been to do something better for yourself. And that's what Spirit's asking you to do with your physical body, and especially with your, in your physical body. And what it's going to do is it's going to um, balance out mind and spirit with it as you do that. When we start moving around, when we start doing things in our physical space, uh, it reawakens these other energies. A lot of us, I think, have been kind of numb the last week, two weeks, three weeks with all this uh, quarantine stuff. And it's like, okay, wake up. <laughs> this is still going on. Let's let's get moving. Let's find the balance. Okay, so in work, we have solitude. And again, this is that major arcana, and it's coming in with another major arcana to clarify it. So I feel like, remember I said it's like spirits wanting to graduate you um, where you're not feeling out of sorts, even though things aren't the way that they were. You're home. You've got some solitude uh, going on in your life right now. And Spirit's asking you to think about what can you create in this space? What can you create as far as work goes? Think outside of the box. Because regardless of what's going on in the world, Spirit really is on your side. Spirit is there to help you create and birth something new into your life if you choose to do that. Uh, a new way of looking at things, if nothing else. Just the way you look at things can be changed in a situation like that. And then you have the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is a very emotionally balanced kind of person. He is like the, the senior authority in the cup suit, right? Uh, he's got unconditional love for himself. He's got unconditional acceptance and unconditional tolerance for himself. And they're asking you to bring this into your life, uh, that no matter what, your value is not held in in what you do for a living. You're a human being, not a human doing. Your balance is not found, your value is not found in in what it is that you do or what it is you have done for your money. And I feel like they're graduating you to something that's going to be a little bit different for you. And again, even if it's just the way that you, uh, you find your value in a different way and you don't connect it to what it was you did for a living. 
So in romantic relationships, okay, we have the moon. Uh, this would be the same card as the moon if you were looking at a traditional tarot deck. Uh, but it's showing up as the shadow, right? So let's think about this. Whenever we're in a place where we're feeling out of sorts and maybe we're not feeling uh, at home or comfortable in our own skin, what happens? Our shadow side kind of exposes itself, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Our shadow side kind of exposes itself, comes out and, and gets grouchy or gets aggravated or whatever because we're not comfortable where we are. So Spirit's asking you to look at that and understand that this is why, this is what is going on and this is why it's happening. And they're asking you to graduate your thoughts about that. Um, <coughs> sorry, guys. They're asking you to graduate your thoughts about that and graduate the way that you uh, respond to the, these feelings of not being at home. And if you remember in this, um, in the reading of this card, they talked about you becoming comfortable in your skin, no matter what's going on in the world. Uh, so it may be time to do a little bit of shadow work with yourself because it looks like it could be interfering with a relationship if you're in a coupled up relationship or if you're dating right now, any of that stuff, study what's going on in your life. <coughs> Guys. <coughs> Whew. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so I, I tend to want to say something about your truth. Find out what your truth is about yourself, right? Um, and then, then it leads to wish fulfillment because... Whatever's going on, whatever this this thing that's going on within the relationship, or if you're dating, or even if you're single, and this could be about loving yourself too, right? Uh, we don't like ourselves when we feel uncomfortable, or when we don't like ourselves, we do feel uncomfortable, vice versa. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? But it's something for you to study about yourself right now within a relationship or within your relationship with yourself. And, and the answers that you find lead you to a better understanding of what it takes to make you happy. Uh, and, and you'll find out that it's different than what you thought is the feeling that I'm getting. Okay. Now we're going to do your PS. God guides angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. Show us clearly what is the PS for Gemini as it relates to this reading, uh, this spirit-guided energy focus. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Show us clearly what is the PS that goes with this message. It's a lot of cups in there. So you, you're dealing with a lot of stuff emotionally through this time right now. And Spirit's saying, be patient with yourself. Uh, you might need to check things out differently. Look, King of Pentacles. Uh, so the King of Pentacles is resourceful. Uh, he's balanced. He's very grounded, right? And what they're saying with this card is, Gemini, you have the, these things within you that you're grounded. Uh, and they and maybe ground yourself, right? Because the, the king understands that when he's grounded, he's a better leader in his kingdom. Uh, he, he is able to think better. He's able to en enact processes better. All of that stuff because he's grounded, because he knows what's going on. He's also very stable. So they're saying, Gemini, you're very stable. Um, this this little uh, rocking the boat, that what's going on in the world is rocking your boat a little bit. And they're saying you're more stable than that. So grab on to what it is uh, that is not working for you in this situation and let it go and find find the other places within yourself that your uh, your value shows up for you okay then you have the ten of swords so I feel like they're saying you know this Gemini you know you've been all in your head about this you feel like the world's been against you nothing's working out because you know this virus has got everybody home or whatever and they're saying uh, this is something that they're ready for you to release and it could have other things attached to it. There could be times in the past where you've actually 
had this same uh, idea or feeling that things aren't working out the way you want and you're not allowing yourself to stay grounded and stable, uh, it rocks your boat a little bit. There's been other times when you've not felt at home. So they're saying ground yourself and let go of this stuff. <laughs> and then whenever you do that, you're going to be surprised. See, here's some more cups. You have the cups here, letting go of those things that don't serve you. You have this cup finding that unconditional love and acceptance for yourself. And you have this of understanding what it is that does fill you up, right? And then you have this. It's like Spirit says, when you do all this other stuff, you're going to quit focusing on these cups that aren't serving you. And you're going to grab on to what the universe has to give you. Because there's something that they're wanting to give you. There's something that they're wanting to show you. Uh, it's actually already there for you. But they want you to see it. And grab hold to it. And I think it has a lot to do with you understanding your value. And understanding that things that you can't control uh, should never control you. Okay. That is your, that's your message, Gemini. Uh, thanks so much for stopping in. Go out and have a super duper day. Bye.